If you're getting loads of clicks and impressions on your ad, but no customers are calling your phone or filling in your contact forms, then you have a landing page issue. You can have an ad campaign that's set up perfectly, but if you're sending people through to a landing page that doesn't instantly solve their problem and give them a reason to buy, they will leave and your budget will be reduced to nothing. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can build the perfect landing page for your Google Ads, one that converts clicks to customers. Let me begin by showing you the results we're generating for a roofing company through Google Ads. We've spent 494 pounds and have gotten 27 leads for just 18 pounds a lead. This is what a good landing page will do for you. It will convert the clicks on your ads to genuine leads and paying customers. Now this is a very profitable ad campaign we're running for our client because for this roofing company, their average job is around 500 pounds and for an entire roof installation, it can be up to 6,000 pounds. So I will talk you through all the steps of building a landing page that will get you results just like our clients. So stick around until the end to get the most out of this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Kurt from One Base Media and I'm here to help you get more local customers for your service business. So if you don't wanna miss any videos, join our community and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified. Now, let me reveal to you the four main pillars that a good landing page is built on. The first one is, does your landing page solve a problem? For example, if someone searches for roof repairs in London, your landing page should focus on how your company can quickly repair roofs. Think about the problems your customers face when seeking your service and create a landing page that addresses and solves their problem instantly. And keep it simple. It might sound obvious, but if your ad is about roof installation, your landing page should talk about roof installations. If your ad is about roof repairs, your landing page should be mainly about roof repairs. Basically, don't confuse customers with information about all of your different services. They're looking to solve one particular problem, so your landing page should focus solely on solving that problem for them. The second pillar is about whether your landing page builds trust. Your landing page needs to inspire trust instantly and show that your service is reliable. If you expect customers to invest their hard-earned money in your business, you must be able to show that you're a trustworthy business capable of delivering what you're promising. You can achieve this by displaying testimonials on your landing page. This can be done by including screenshots of reviews from Trustpilot, Facebook, or Google. Now we like to use screenshots as people instantly know that they're real. It might not look as good as embedding them or having them written on the page, but you want your page to build instant trust. So screenshots work great for this. The third pillar is does your landing page give your customers a reason to buy? Your landing page should create urgency. When someone clicks on your ad and comes through to your landing page, they're already interested in what you're offering. You just need to give them a nudge by creating urgency and giving them a reason to buy from you. You see this all the time when you walk in a shopping center. Loads of signs for last minute deals that are finishing soon. This is because urgency sells. For your landing page, you can have an offer or a discount that will sway the customer into choosing you. To come up with one, think about your service and what would motivate someone to make an instant purchase from you. Give them such a good reason to buy it, they find it hard to say no. And the fourth pillar is a strong call to action. Your landing page must include a clear call to action, which is often overlooked. What should a customer do next? Should they call you or fill out an inquiry form? It needs to be obvious. If your phone number and contact form are not prominently displayed and the customer has to scroll down or put in an effort to find a way to contact you, they may choose to go back and find another business instead. Don't make the customer work to contact you. Ensure your call to action is prominently displayed. So to recap, your landing page has to solve a problem, build trust, give a compelling reason to buy and have a clear call to action. This is our client's landing page, which is performing really well in terms of conversions. The top section of the landing page is the most crucial part because most people don't scroll past it. So we want to ensure that all their questions are answered right here at the top. We put a solution to our customer's problem in the main header, affordable roof repairs covering London. So if someone is searching for roof repairs in London and clicks on our ad, our landing page addresses their problem directly through our header. This also improves our ad score because if our ad is about roof repairs, then our header and landing page should focus solely on roof repairs and nothing else. By including affordable in the header, we directly address a major concern that people have about roof repairs, which is the price. With just a simple statement, anyone visiting our landing page knows that we offer affordable roof repairs throughout London. Next, we build trust by having screenshots of reviews from known and reputable sites. Sites like Trust a Trader, Check a Trade, or Trustpilot. You want to make sure that the review is lifted from somewhere that is real and your customer can instantly recognize this. If your customers even have the slightest doubt about the authenticity of the reviews or testimonials, they will leave the page straight away. All of these small elements really have an impact on your landing page's performance and will help you generate more leads. Next, you want to give people a reason to buy. So straight away here, we're giving them a few reasons to buy it 
by offering a 15% discount if they send us a message by filling out our inquiry form. Also below our header, we are offering a 15% discount on all roofing services and we're creating urgency by writing for this month only. Offers like this gently push and nudge the visitors on your landing page to inquire. So think about your business and service and come up with an offer that's just too good to turn down. We also have a clear call to action on our landing page. There's no confusion on what to do if someone wants to contact us. We've made it very easy for our customer to contact us by having a contact form that they can fill or they can directly call us for an instant free quote. All they need to do is click on this button and it will call our client's company directly. This is really great at converting visitors who come to our landing page through mobile because this button is at the top and with just one tap, they can inquire about our service. In addition to the four main pillars of a landing page, we include bullet points that address common concerns and assure customers that they will achieve their desired outcome by hiring us. Many people worry about their roof leaking again, so we offer a 20 year guarantee. We also emphasize that our prices are affordable and that we are the best roofing company in London. That's all you need to consider when creating a landing page. The best landing pages are the simplest ones. Don't overwhelm them with too many options or make them overthink. Keep it simple so they don't have to spend time thinking and can easily contact you. We've covered the top and the main part of the landing page, but some people do scroll all the way down. So to keep meeting the criteria of the pillars, we want to include our accreditation here as it also builds trust in our service. Below that, list any guarantees that you offer to further reinforce this. When they click on the get free quote button, they'll be taken straight back to the top of the page and the inquiry form. We always want them to be brought back to the top of the page to fill in the form and make an inquiry. Many people don't read every detail on your page, they just skim through it. That's why you should fill your landing page with images of your work and testimonials at regular intervals. When they see these images or testimonials, they'll feel confident that this company knows what they're doing and they're gonna be more likely to make an inquiry. Finally, it's important to ensure that your landing page works well on both desktop and mobile devices. It should be easy to use on both platforms. On mobile, the contact number is prominently displayed at the top. You can access the navigation bar easily, and when you scroll down, you'll find the contact form and the accreditations. We want to ensure it's very simple and user-friendly on mobile because most of your traffic for local businesses will come from mobile devices. So it's crucial to make sure it looks just as good on mobile as it does on desktop. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you got a lot out of the video. So our goal here is to help you generate the best quality leads so you can fill out your diary with more customers and grow your business. And that's it from me. And by the way, if lead generation is a problem for you right now, then there's a link in the description that will help you solve that problem in under three minutes. I wanna say a big thank you again for watching this video. If you wanna see more like this, please like and subscribe, and also leave a comment in the comment section letting us know how you get on. We read and respond to all the comments we get, even the nasty ones. Have a great day, I'll see you on the next one.